exactly are shadows what exactly are shadows now one by one hold each of the opaque objects in the sunlight slightly above the ground what do you see on the ground you know that the dark patch formed by each on the ground is due to its shadow sometimes you can identify the object by looking at its shadow spread a sheet of paper on the ground hold a familiar opaque objects at some height so that its shadow is formed on the sheet of paper on the ground ask one of your friends to draw the outline of the shadow while you are holding the object draw outlines of the shadow of other objects in a similar way now ask some other friends to identify the objects from these outlines of shadows how many objects are they able to identify correctly do you observe your shadow in a dark room or at night when there is no light do you observe a shadow when there is just a source of light and nothing else in a room it seems we need a source of light and an opaque object to see a shadow is there anything else required this is an activity that you will have to do in the dark in the evening go out in an open ground with a few friends take a torch and a large sheet of cardboard with you hold the torch close to the ground and shine it upwards so that its light falls on your friend's face you now have a source of light that is falling on an opaque object if there were no trees building or any other object behind your friend would you see the shadow of your friend's head this does not mean that there is no shadow after all the light from the torch is not able to pass through his body to the other side this one now ask another friend to hold the cardboard sheet behind your friend is the shadow now seen on the cardboard sheet thus the shadow can be seen only on a screen the ground walls of a room a building or other such surfaces act as a screen for the shadows you observe in everyday life shadows give us some information about shapes of objects sometimes shadows can also mislead us about the shape of the object in figure 11.4 are a few shadows that we can create with our hands and make believe that they are shadows of different animals have fun activity for place a chair in the school ground on a sunny day what do you observe from the shadow of the chair does the shadow give an accurate picture of the shape of the chair if the chair is turned around a little how does the shape of the shadow change take a thin notebook and look at its shadow then take a rectangular box and took at its shadow do the two shadows seems to have a similar shape take flowers or other objects of different colors and look at their shadows a red rose and a yellow rose for instance do the shadows look different in color when the colors of the objects are different take a long box and look at its shadow on the ground when you move the box around you may see that the size of the shadow changes when is the shadow of the box the shortest when the long side of the box is pointed towards the sun or when the short side is pointing towards the sun let us use this long box to prepare a simple camera a pinhole camera we will discuss in the next video thank you